This website has been created using Python and HTML. Let's see how we can do this and what this does. So if I type something here like, hello, how are you? And click on translate. This will be converted to pirate talk. So this has been done using HTML and Python, not JavaScript. So let's see how we can do this. Open your Visual Studio code or any editor that you have and then create a new project. I have this project called Python website, which is empty. Now let's create a file called index.html. Here we'll write our HTML code. So for now, I'll just write a basic uh, HTML structure. So the basic HTML structure is ready. Now if I run this right now, by going wherever I have created that, as you can see, it's nothing is printed because the body is actually empty here. But now let's add some Python functionality. To do that, first we need to install a Python module called PyScript. So go to terminal, click on new terminal, and then type pip install PyScript. Now this assumes that you already have Python and pip installed. If you don't have those uh, things installed, check the link in the description or the card visible on the screen right now, click on it and you will see how you can install pip. So once you have uh, PyScript installed, what you can do is you can include Python scripts. So first create a Python file and let's call this main.py and just write print and let's say hello world, but from web this time. So type hello world from the web. Okay. Now let's go back to our HTML file and let's include this functionality in our HTML file. So to do that, we just need to add scripts inside our head tag. So we need to include these two scripts. Now this is the library that we are using to write, uh, to include Python functionality in our HTML file. So include these two scripts. And again, these two are in the description below. And in your body, now just give link to our python script that is the main.py file here so i'll write py dot dash script and the source is our python file that is main.py and just close this tag here now inside our body we have included main.py file and what is main.py file doing it is just printing hello world so now if i go back to my file here and run this it will give an error because we are trying to access this uh, just like an HTML file, but we need to run this as a server. So in your terminal, uh, let's, let me clear this so you can see this better. Now you need to write this command, python m dash m http dot server. Okay, hit enter. And you'll see this message that says server is running on port 8000. So if uh, you get an error that says port 8000 is already being used or something like that, you can give it another port by typing this. So now it will run on port 3000. Okay, so let's go back to our browser here and type 127.0.0.1 and this time instead of 8000, enter 3000. And as you can see, the title is visible, but inside our print, we have written hello world from the web that is not visible. Why is that? Because that print message is shown in terminal, not in the browser. So if I go to console here, as you can see, hello world from the web is shown. So how can we actually do something here from Python? Let's see how we can do that. So first of all, let's say we want to write hello world uh, in a div, div, right? So first, let's create that div. Let's call it text area. And I'll just close this div here. Now I want to write hello world from the web inside this div area inside this div so go to your python file and first let's import something that is py script we'll import document so this document allows us to access any of these divisions or any other html elements so what we'll do is we'll say our output div is document dot query selector and the name of our output division is text area, right? So now text area 
refers to this output division and we need to we need to write uh this text here so what we'll do is input sorry inner text is hello world from the web okay and this time hello world i'll just write hello world in console so now we have done this we are just selecting text area and writing this inside the text area so let's see if this works again i'll press ctrl c to stop this and let's start this again let's go back here and let's run this again so as you can see hello world from the web is shown here and hello world console is shown here so now we have our functionality let's see how we can add some colors and some style to this so because this looks very boring right again i'll go back to my html file and you can easily add styles to this uh, just like any normal uh, css style so what we'll do is we'll create a style tag here style element and inside this let's give our text area some style let's give it a different color and then let's say brown and let's give it a font size of something smaller or uh, something bigger so let's say i'll do it 80 pixels and now let's go back here and let's reload this as you can see <laughs> this has become a lot bigger and the color is changed so this is how you can add elements and how you can modify them using python now let's see how to build what we had actually what i shown to you in the beginning of the tutorial okay to do that we just need one additional file that is spyscript.json so let's see what is going on here again this is basically uh, the basic structures that we've already seen of html and these two are the scripts that we had included already so only thing new here is an h1 tag a paragraph an input to, to uh, take our messages like hello how are you and then a button here and again this is similar to what we have already done this is the output division where we will write what we want to uh, show to the viewer and finally we have included a script here again this is the script similar to what we had done here we had included main.py now the main functionality is inside the script so inside the script what we are doing is so we are importing this arr module so this is the module that helps us convert whatever we have written in english to python talk to do that again open a terminal and install that using this command pip install a r r r r hit enter and this module will be installed and then you can just import it like this okay and now what we are doing is we are just taking input text as we had done with output text in the previous section and just as we had done uh, with the input text we are doing we are referencing to the output id so there's there are two ids here there is input and output so let's see what these are so output is the division where we will write the converted text and input is just this where the user will type whatever in english so we take whatever is written in english right and then we convert it to python talk and then we set it to inner text so this is basically it and what is this doing here pyscript.json so whenever we include a package here like arr uh, we can just list those packages here in pyscript.json and then we give this config tag here and link that pyscript.json inside our script tag where we are including our python file okay again let's see if this works here let's type python dash m http dot server and give this a port 3000 it's running let's go back to our project here and let's run this again this time as you can see it's giving an error main.py file with error 404 not found okay so what it is doing is we don't have a main.py file here right by default it looks for if you don't give anything here it looks for main.py file so what we'll do is let's just change this also and let's rename this also here okay so now if we reload this as you can see our website is visible 
Uh, let's type something now. This is complete and click on translate. So it is converted to Python. It is converted to Pirate Talk and this says this will be complete. So yeah, this is how you can do it. And if you want to learn more about how you want to add, uh, how you can add different functionalities and what are the features included in this spy script, what you can do is you can just check out the documentation and the code to what I've just shown you is also visible here. So I've just used the, their tutorial to do that. And you can see the first steps, architecture and what functionality are available for you. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.